my most requested list best clone inspired fragrance for summers let's do it hey guys welcome to my channel intellectual sense my name is dev jod now i want to thank every one of you because we have just become thousand strong and to celebrate this i have organized a giveaway on my instagram channel so if you are interested in winning one of the best coffee fragrance which i have tested which made it to number two list on top 10 niche fragrance from india then head out to my instagram channel foxy sardar and participate in that giveaway now coming back to today's list of uh, best clone inspired fragrance uh, now you have to understand the difference between clone fragrance and inspired fragrance now clone fragrance are something which are uh, like which are totally trying to copy a designer or a niche fragrance like exact copy they're trying to make it 100% uh, you know accurate to the you know designer or a niche fragrance and the inspired fragrance are they are not exactly trying to copy that fragrance but they are kind of trying to make a same genre so so that's the difference between a clone fragrance and an inspired fragrance and also not all clone fragrance are equal some use better oils some use not so good oils and we'll talk about that and also the value for money the presentation everything i have considered that so let's start with two honorable mention now my two honorable mentions are holloway which is a, cl a clone of perfume stimali galloway now this fragrance uh, uh, scent profile is very good it's a spicy fragrance spicy citrus fragrance and spice is very uh, amped down it's not amped up i liked it but it did not last it on my clothes or skin it was just giving me about four hours so that's the reason i am putting it in honorable mention and the second uh, you know the honorable mention is alasif one to one which is basically a clone of uh, uh, carolina herilla 212 uh, which I also own. Now this particular fragrance, the scent profile is quite matching to the original, but why it didn't make my top 10 was uh, because the quality of oils I felt was not that great, I believe. So these are the two honorable mention in my list. So at number 10, I've got a fragrance called Suave the Perfume. Uh, now this is a clone as the name suggests uh, of Dior Sauvage EDP. Now in terms of smell, it's quite close, I will say about 80% close to the original. Um, where it's missing is the richness, I believe. The richness is not as exactly as uh, Dior Sauvage has. Now I did side by side testing of both the perfumes. Now this lasts close to 7 hours and the projection is mild. And even the original fragrance Dior Sauvage has a mild projection. So that way it's quite similar. Now this costs around 1300 rupees for 100 ml. It's a very good choice. It's a very boring scent, but it's a very effective scent in terms of getting a compliment. So at number 10, Suave the perfume. So at number nine, I've got a fragrance called Asylum by Project Alternative. Now this is a clone or I will say more of an inspired version of Roja Elysium. Now this fragrance is a very easy fragrance to wear. It has, it has got a citrus opening, you know, uh, which is very enjoyable. Now it lasts close to about six hours with a very mild projection. Uh, this is kind of a scent, which is uh, like if someone comes very close to you, then they will be able to smell it out. It does not project a lot. And that's the reason I have kept it uh, down the order because I felt the projection could have been higher. However, still a very good scent profile. Uh, the oils which they have used is very high quality oils in my opinion. And this cost around uh, 2000 rupees for 50 ml. So it's a good price point also. So at number nine, Asylum by Project Alternative. So at number eight, I've got an Indian clone maker and it's perfume cart and the inspired fragrance is of Invictus. Now, if you look into Indian clone makers, their USP is that they make perfumes last. That's their USP uh, because that's the kind of a demand Indian uh, market has that perfume should last. Now, generally, in terms of Invictus smell, they were able to do a good job, in my opinion. This is more of an Invictus intense version. So uh, that way, it is pretty good, in my opinion. But generally, like other scent profiles, the heavy scent profiles like tobacco vanille, if you just increase the oil concentration, the scent can break down, in my opinion. But in this particular thing, it didn't happen. So I enjoyed it. This lasts close to about eight hours with heavy projection, above average projection. 
Now, why I have kept it down the list is because I felt the quality of oil could have been better in my opinion. Um, so that's the reason I have kept it down the order. But the price point is very effective. It's 700 rupees for 50 ml. So excellent choice if you're looking for a summer fragrance, Invictus Clone by Perfume Cart. So at number seven, I've got a fragrance called Sayyid Al Kulub. Now this is a clone of Chanel, Blue de Chanel EDP Concentration. This is a very excellent clone, uh, which lasts close to seven hours, with first three hours being a heavy projection. In terms of scent profile, I do smell a lot of spices in it. Now I believe it's a very good clone. Uh, it's and it has got the best presentation by uh, by Country Mile in my opinion. Uh, so it's a very good choice. I think this cost around 1300 rupees for 100 ml. So excellent price range also. So excellent choice at number seven, Sayyid Al Kaloop. So at number six, I've got another clone maker from India. It's Alari's fragrance, Ludusie. Now this is a clone of Isi Miyake Ludusie, and this is an excellent clone in my opinion. When I first smelled it, I have a vintage formulation of uh, Isi Miyake Ludusie, and uh, it's 90% close in my opinion. Now, the only difference I was able to smell is that the yuzu note in the original, the vintage uh, version, the yuzu note is quite dense. This is not as dense, but this lasts even longer than the original in my opinion. This lasts close to nine hours on my skin. And uh, the quality of oil is also pretty good. The only reason I am not putting in top three is because of the presentation. This is not a great presentation to have. This is basically a decan bottle. Uh, I think they have a separate presentation. They have improved their presentation. So if it had a better presentation, I would have kept this fragrance higher up the list, but it's an excellent clone. I think this cost around 650 rupees for 55 ml with extract concentration. So excellent value for money. So if you are looking for Isi Miyake Vintage Ludusie Clone, then try this. You will not regret it. So at number five, I've got a fragrance called Blue Sky by Oud Kalakas. Now this is a kind of an inspired version of uh, Dylan Blue and Dior Sauvage. It's a very boring, effective scent profile. Boring because I felt uh, th this uh, Sauvage uh, kind of uh, scent profile is quite boring from a reviewer point of view. Effective because a lot of people compliment on this kind of scent profile. So that's the reason I called it a boring effective scent profile. Now the other thing about this particular fragrance is that it lasts quite a long time, eight, nine hours and with a heavy projection. So it's quite enjoyable from that aspect also. And the quality of oil is also pretty good in my opinion for the price point. It's I think around 1400 rupees for 100 ml. So if you're looking for a very safe scent profile, which you want to wear to your office, then look to Blue Sky from Oud Kalakas. Now at number four, I've got a fragrance, uh, which is kind of a dark horse, horse of this particular list. It's De Costa Rogue. Now I never expected this particular fragrance to make it to my top 10 list, but when I smelled it, I was totally blown over by it. Now this particular scent profile is a green apple scent profile. Very enjoyable summer fragrance in my opinion. It's not a boring fragrance like, uh, some, like a Dior Sauvage line probably I will say. It's not like that. It's very enjoyable. It has got a citrus base to it. It's a, it has got some sharpness to it also. Uh, and it has got a very heavy projection. For first three hours, like people two feet away will be able to smell it out. And this lasts uh, quite around seven to eight hours on my skin. So excellent, excellent option. Actually, I enjoyed this uh, clone a lot that I, now I want to buy the original of it, which is Dunhill Desire Red. So it's kind of a reverse thing, which is happening where from a clone I have smelled and I've enjoyed it. Now I want to buy the original of it. Now this clone cost around, I think 1400 rupees for 100 ml. So excellent price point also. So at number four, Deco Star Rogue. So at number three, I've got a fragrance, which is a clone of Aventus. Now you all may be thinking why Aventus clone hasn't made the entry, but it has, it's Alexa one. Now this particular fragrance uh, is uh, from Project Alternative, and this is a very excellent clone in my opinion, because the quality of oil which they have used is top class, very high quality in my opinion. Now the opening of it is more pineapple heavy, uh, the vintage Alexa which they used to have was more bergamot heavy. Now the first four hours of it is very heavy projection and then it um, you know settles down and it lasts close to seven hours. 
I totally have enjoyed this. I still believe the Alexa Vintage is uh, better in terms of lasting because I think that is giving me about eight hours, eight, nine hours easily on me, but it's a very good option. This is I think made in UAE also. So at number three, Alexa 1.0, and it costs around 1600 to 1900 rupees for 30 ml extract concentration. So at number two, I've got House of Rasasi and it's Al Wasim Day. Now this is an inspired version of uh, Georgia for Kasamurati Mephisto in my opinion. A lot of people compare it with the uh, uh, Creed Silver Mountain Water but Silver Mountain Water has no rose in it and this has got a lot of rose in it. And that is the main difference actually. Uh, this has got amped up rose as say for example Mephisto. Mephisto also has a rose but it's not very amped up. It's more citrusy floral. This is more rose with citrus and musky aspect of it. But it's an excellent scent profile for summers in my opinion. The only reason people may not enjoy this is because if you don't like rose. Personally, I love rose if you know me. I absolutely love rose and this is an excellent for summers in my opinion. If there is any rose I want to wear in summer, which is cheap, which I can wear it uh, and last close to 9 hours. Uh, and this cost around I think, I think 2000 to 2500. I've seen it in that kind of range going through. In my opinion, this is a must buy for summers. You can buy it with your eyes closed if you like rose, that's it. So at number two, Al Wasim Day by Rasasi. So at number one, I've got a fragrance called Mandarina Duck Black Extreme. Now this is an inspired version of George of Udon or Chanel uh, UX Extreme. Now I have done side by side testing of uh, with George of Udon. Now the the opening of it is uh, not the same, but the dry down is 90% same in my opinion. And the quality and the richness is there. That's the beauty of this particular fragrance in my opinion. And uh, it's an excellent uh, scent profile for summers. If you are working in an office uh, on a high profile, say for example, you are a manager or a director uh, above 30, this is an excellent fragrance to wear to summers uh, in office also. And uh, this cost, I think, around 2000 to 2500 rupees. With the uh, nine hours, it will last on your skin easily, in my opinion, with heavy projection. So, in my opinion, this is a kind of a blind buy. You can blind buy this particular fragrance uh, for the value of money, for the quality of oil. So, at number one, Mandrina Drug Black Extreme. So guys, this is my list. I hope you have found some great uh, options for you to take you through the summers. Stay safe and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Cheers.